what's up you guys Tom is back with another Linton's video today we have one from fragrance world but before we get into that just want to say thank you guys again it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices whatever one you watch me from and wherever you watch me from it is an honor if you guys are new to this channel you like what you see hit the subscribe button comment and like likes are very very important and if you like fragrance just as much as I do Check down below, check all those different websites that I got listed down below, and also use those discount codes. Again, discount codes are our friends, and again, also use those PayPal options, PayPal for Klarna, um, what other one we got, uh, the, um, Affirm, all of these pay and four options, some even have pay in six, if you guys need that fragrance badly, but don't have the funds, just go that route, okay, so... Uh, with that being said, let's finally get into this fragrance. Now, again, as you guys know, we did a somewhat of a review on Seal. We did one on VU. We did one on uh, the Tiger, V Soul. And then um, we got one right here. And this one is called V Priest. And uh, this is supposed to be a clone of Onik. Okay. Probably saying that wrong, but it's part of the Legem lineup. Now, the one cool thing, after seeing a couple of those Legem fragrances uh, on a video, the top of the actual caps got the different gems, okay? So, the different gem colors. But these just have, I think, the the color on, you know what? I think just the, you guys already seen this thing, so no need to look at all the other ones. But I think they just got a different color as far as the glass. So, I think the real things are all black, but then at the top, they just got a different uh, gem looking thing up here, and then obviously the name would be different, but here we go. This is that breeze, okay. And again, Onik, Onik, the the gem lineup, Onik, okay. Now, from what I can see, this is pretty much leathery, spicy, oody, woody. So, all the typical things that uh, you know are tough to wear for most people, and uh, I am part of most people now, again. If you wear these in the right situation, these could be really, really lovely. Again, try not to just go based off of what is on your skin, okay? Here's the thing. Spray this once on yourself. Smell it. Okay. See what it's all about, okay? See if there's any kind of, you know, aromas in the air. See if anything's different than what you're smelling on your skin, okay? And then... Spray it on someone else, let them walk around here and see what you're smelling, okay? So, again, there's like a few different things that people are smelling. Again, you're smelling what's close on the skin, what's close by. You're not actually getting like, you know, kind of what everyone else is getting. So, what everyone else is getting might actually please you. And then you're like, you know what? Who cares what the hell this smells like on me? If it smells similar to what I'm smelling when people walk past, then it's good enough, you know? Again. You know, obviously, you'd like to have a fragrance that you spray on yourself and you just like the way it smells. But again, you know, go outdoors and try with some other elements. So here we go. This is that V Breeze, V Breezy, okay? Beautiful atomizer. Actually, very nice wide distribution. So make sure you get close on the skin when you spray it, especially if you're going to spray around that neck area. You don't want to be like way back here and then you're blinding yourself, okay? Or taste in half, but so get close, like right there, boom, like four inches, okay? Okay, this is definitely, you know, sometimes when you hear about that, it's going to be maybe oody and leathery and spicy and oriental and stuff. You just automatically assume this is going to be an unpleasant smell on the skin, but this is actually quite decent. Now, I'm definitely getting like this leathery, woody, nice vibe in the air. Not really getting too much spice, but definitely nice and leathery and woody. Now, the leather is not like that punch you in the face leather. It's very nice and well blended, especially with that wood. So, again, if you, you know, maybe you're not digging the leathery fragrances, especially the ones that kind of just punch you right in the mouth, this one doesn't do that. You definitely get that nice leather, but nice woods as well, nicely blended so let's get closer okay getting some kind of spices here maybe like some cinnamon or maybe nutmeg it's definitely kind of warming this fragrance all up together right now so kind of smoky incensey
there's definitely, I think I'm starting to get a little bit of Tonka. You know, there might not be Tonka in here, but there's something in here that's giving it a touch of sweetness. But yeah, this is a nice leathery, like smoked wood, to, you know, with a little bit of spice. Again, definitely get the leather in the air. When you're smelling it closer to the skin, I'm getting more of the woods and the spice more than anything in the air. You get that leather, you get the woods, but here, woody. Again, slightly spicy. There's something sweet creeping through. Again, I think it's probably Tonka bean. It's not something like, you know, kind of edible or anything like that. Just, what, what? You know, what the hell is a Tonka bean anyways? Has anyone ever seen one of those things? Like, I mean, have you, have you just came across a Tonka bean just sitting in the grocery store? If you have, please let me know so I can see where these are at. Maybe they're at uh, Whole Foods. I don't know. Maybe sitting next to the uh, foie gras area. I don't know. But, uh, man, this is a very, very nice fragrance, okay? And honestly, from the last video that I did, like the full review of, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, who knows? It was a leathery fragrance. I know that. And that thing was quite strong. This one is actually very, very nice. Very well blended indeed. And again, if you aren't a super duper leather fan, okay, in the air, it's actually one of the few fragrances that actually smells better, I think, on the skin than the air this time. So again, most of the time, it's what you smell in the air. You're like, oh my God, it smells good. And you smell the skin, it's like, uh. I'm not really digging this. I actually like the smell on the skin a little bit more in the air. And again, it could be that leather. Again, I'm not the biggest leather fan in the world. I'll wear it, you know, occasionally. But this one, again, with the nice wood, a little bit of sweet. Very kind of smoky and kind of incensey. I am digging this one. Okay, you guys already know. When I, whenever I discuss these notes, you guys know when to wear these. Okay, this is like a night out. Okay, night out, date night fragrance. Okay, this is not a sexy, seductive fragrance because it's not sweet enough. You know, you know, majority of the people think of a sweet fragrance, you just automatically think a cuddle fragrance. It's more just like a date night, you know, um, just lounging around with the wife, going to the bar or something like that. Uh, nothing else, no different. Okay, you're not gonna. I wouldn't rock this in like a nice, uh, casual like dinner setting because that leather, that woods could be kind of off-putting. But man, you guys are going out to like a nice, you know, maybe going out to see some kind of uh, you know theater play or something like that. Definitely rock this. You know, going out to a nice bar, nice little club or something like that. Definitely rock this. Again, if you don't want to smell like every other person in that club, you rock this. But I like it. I like this one. This one is definitely safer as a blind buy if you want, like, you know, maybe something with leather, the spicy, the woody thing going on here, the incense. This is definitely a safer buy than some others. Okay, so I really think this is very well blended. Okay, that is that V Breezy. Okay, like Breezy, Chris Breezy. This is V Breezy. Okay, uh, but babe, can you come here? See if you can smell it. V breezy in the house. Brisse. Maybe it's brisse. Okay. Can you smell it over there? Kinda. I mean, it could just be me from other stuff that I've worn earlier, but. So she's smelling something strong over there. I didn't spray it that way, so it wasn't that way. See again. In the air, leathery. Leathery, woody, kind of incensey and smoky. Again, that's where. You would not want to wear this in a nice dinner setting because you might off put some people because you can tell when yeah, people come across that right it's like, you know, people are going to come across, but smell on the skin. Oh, but then it has a little touch of like sweetness. Maybe that's that incense more. It's kind of like a sweet. It almost has like the sweet, fresh, incensey smell. Mm -hmm. Like it's there's something sweet that's blending with that little bit of incensey smell. Right, kind of smoky. It's so sweet and fresh. It, it smells great. It's definitely, again, much better, in my skin. opinion, on the skin this time than in the air. But again, in it the air. It's extremely leathery in the air. But so, on the skin, it smells great. 
again, that is exactly what I told you guys. In the air, I smelled the leather woods, definitely like that. But you get a little bit closer, you don't really even get the leather as much on the skin. You get more of the woods, the spice, the slightly fresh kind of sweet thing going on here. You know what? I like it. Do you like it? I do, on the skin. So, again, that is where, again, I say wear this with caution is... As much as I'm saying this is a better blind buy option for someone who's trying to get into the leathers and, you know, maybe the incensey game and stuff like that, this is a safer blind buy than some others. Now, I think the other day, uh, which fragrance was that that I wore that was like just super harsh? I think it was this one. This, this blend. This one is, this one is kind of rough too, okay? Guys. See this one, that one's kind of rough, that leather that just punch you in the mouth style uh, thing going on there. But this one right here, very good. I like this one. I like this one a lot. And we shall see what it is like down the line. Okay? Again, outdoors, this is probably going to be even better. You got those elements out there working. Again, you can try even taking something like this. You know, and if, if you want to get into the leather game and you're like, man, some leathers are too strong try layering this with maybe something bright and citrusy that citrus kind of like livens it up a little bit kind of gives it that little freshness and then maybe kind of you know tones down that leather but on its own i'm digging this one v breezy from the fragrance world again that is from that french avenue paris lineup uh as you guys know again they have all the other uh bagari the Le Gem lineup okay this is the green one guys know this one is good too man I'm going to have to rock this one one day, though. But this one is good, too. This is V-Soul. Very good. And honestly, we do have one more that eventually we will get to, which I believe this is this one that we'll have to try last. Okay, this is the V... Phew. Phew. Phew V. I think this means, like, something of the night. Something, something like that, I think. So, again, got the... You know, as you guys can see, they all have different markings on the cap. So, kind of like the Le Gem lineup, but uh, the ones on the Le Gem is like at the top. There's like a gem on the top. But there it is, V Breezy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. I enjoyed smelling that one. Again, some of these fragrances, you guys can kind of tell, you know. Um, I know you guys want more of, uh, you know, oh, how long does it last and this and that and that. Honestly, a lot of times you can tell how long a fragrance lasts just on that first spray on that hand, okay? There's been plenty of fragrances that I've sprayed on the hand that the night I did the video, went there, took showers, tried to wash it off, scrubbed it, and still smell it very, very nicely indeed. Very nicely indeed. This is, I think that freshness that I was getting is kind of like fresh grassy almost. Again, a slight bit of sweet. Again, I'm liking this one. I do like this one, okay? This is a pretty dang good, again, leathery, woody, oriental, spicy, slightly sweet, a little bit of fresh going on in there. But nonetheless, that is that V Breezy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and hopefully, you guys return for the next video. And until then, peace out. Yeah.